So design is everywhere and everything needs to be redesigned and, and rethought. And it's something that you now in your position as uh, you know the director of the um, AAD program here uh, at GSAP, you know, you're bringing all of this to the program, which was already very much um, a, a, a sort of space of um, critical engagement, a space of argumentation, a space of experimentation. But you've expanded that to to um, to sort of uh, um, push or invite students to consider um, questions of scale and 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 how to work collaboratively with other disciplines, etc. Tell us a little bit about some of the transformations you've brought already to the program. Well, I think the program is a legendary program that brings together some of the most interesting students around the world that already have a degree and already have questions and sensitivities. What I think is uh, the great potential of the AAD now is that uh, it's putting together an ecosystem in which people can bring here their questions. What Not only what they know, but what they know that they don't know and that they want to develop. And they could find a place to do that. And basically, we believe that architecture is relevant and that architecture can make make a change, basically. And we're supporting all these sensitivities to grow at something that could transform the world. And we're in the center, somehow, of many discussions by being in Colombia, by being in New York, but also by being in the world in the way we are, in a very independent way, in a way that we believe that we can reinvent the way things work. And that means also to break down the discussions into a number of new terrains in which architecture can find, and it's already finding, an opportunity to grow and to bring relevance. The AED program has been able to mobilize probably some of the most exciting and intelligent and equipped people to discuss this, and we're very happy to convene the students that have those questions and that can bring them to this ecosystem. I mean, the school has always been kind of a, 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 a sort of space of experimentation with drawing and with digital sort of expression, etc. And now, I mean, the drawings that are coming out are like just kind of so, they're planetary is what I like to, um, to think. And do you, do you think that you know, through these new modes of representation and, and kind of hybridizing analog and digital again in new ways, uh, we can kind of find ways to, to recast this question of scale. Yeah, I think this is, this is a little bit of the core of many of the discussions that we're having. In a way, we see that in the past there was this distinction that architects would work at a very particular scale and they would care about that scale only. And there would be planners, urban designers, thinking of the larger scales, and then there would be industrial designers or other people looking at the smaller scales, but that's not the case anymore. And we're here in GSAP and in the AAD championing a, a change of paradigm in which basically we understand that whatever, whatever architectural artifact uh, to gain a role in transforming contemporary times basically needs to operate simultaneously at many different scales. It doesn't mean that it has to be at the same time an urbanistic project and a tiny microscopical project. It's that at whatever scale it operates, it's somehow creating an effect and gaining an agency in those other scales. And that's why we think, we believe that there's a great need to look carefully to what is the way architects design buildings because what, they're, what we're doing basically has the possibility in what we're doing, looking at transformations that could happen at tiny scales, at large scales, from the work that we do. This is something that somehow it's a reflection on the world and the way it uh, is challenged now. And what is the way that the times that we operate are not only the kind of 10 years of a building to be kind of assessed, but it's something that also have a geological dimension that has to do with the materials that is, it mobilizes, that has to do with its consumptions, and therefore needs to be uh, taking care and catering for processes that are 1,000 years long. But also, it's about the way, for instance, tiny, tiny transformations, chemical processes or biological processes are happening in microseconds. And what is the way that the decisions that we take at the scale of the building are also transforming and making an imp and having an impact in those other scales? This is something that was not uh, the discussion 10 years ago. And that's something that I love that the AED has the, the speed 
to grab these things and to champion them into the discipline.